Diagnosis not even closes. Doc's toys wanted to thank Doc for all the great things she did. So while Doc went over to Amy's to check out Rudy's new puppy gymnasium, the toys decided to clean up the clinic. Lammy picked up a broom and started sweeping. Chili wiped the glass on the aquarium. Stuffy fluffed the pillows on the sofa. Suddenly, Robot Roy burst into the room. Slight malfunction, Ray said, zooming around the clinic. Need to see Doc. Haley offered to squeeze Ray in the next day, but Lamby could see that this was an emergency that needed to be taken care of right away. Lamby tried to call Doc, but she was too far away to hear. They were going to have to help Robot Ray themselves. Stuffy wanted to fill in for Doc. After all, he'd been watching her in action since the day he was bought. Haley, however, thought she should be in charge. She did work in the toy care industry, and she had her own doctor's bag. Haley and Stuffy tried to pin down Robot Ray so that they could give him a checkup. They each had different diagnoses. Stuffy said Robot gone crazy itis. Haley said it was hyper crazy whoop whoop -otosis. Well, which one is it? Lammy asked. The big book of boo boos fell on the floor and Stuffy changed his diagnosis. Neither, Stuffy said. He's got stuck wind upper itis. Robot Ray didn't even have a wind upper, he didn't have a stuck wind upper itis or dusty musties, or stinker salivina breath, or no vroom vroomatosis. It didn't look like Haley or Stuffy would be able to help him. Maybe it's time to call for help, Lammy suggested. The toys sneaked into Emmy's garden, trying to figure out a way to get Doc's attention. Haley set squeakers on one end of the seesaw, and then she and Stuffy jumped onto the other end. It worked. Doc scooped up her toys and looked back at the clinic. Doc opened up Robot Ray's control panel and noticed his speed dial was missing. Stuffy ran into the garden and found it by the water table. Doc popped it back in place and Robot Ray's case of the zoom arounds was cured.